Hello and welcome to the Bookfilic YouTube channel. Now, in this video, this is hereby informed that Bookfilic teams has decided to create a new playlist on compiler design with proper notes and solution guide based on the highly demanded requisition from students to help them improve their knowledge in perspective of computer science and engineering and information technology. Here's the first typed notes shared with you which will be updated in future as well. Therefore, I requested you to share this message to all those BTEC and GATE aspirants for their good purpose. Now, here we have the compiler design notes. So, first of all, we will be introducing the compiler design. I mean to say that what is compiler design? how it works, what are the different important things regarded these things. Okay, so let us start with this first chapter, compiler design. So, as you can see that there is a diagram. The diagram is representing us the two important phase. Number one is analysis phase. Number two is synthesis phase. Now, analysis phase is also called front end phase and synthesis phase is also called the back end phase as you can see here. Now, what do you mean by this compiler? So basically, this whole con is uh, consisting a compiler. This whole is consisting a compiler. So basically, a compiler consists of two phases front-end phase, back-end phase. Now, front-end phase is also referred to as the analysis phase and the back-end phase is also called the synthesis phase. So, in the analysis phase, as you can see by diagram that here is a source code incoming. Here is the source code incoming and here is the output is intermediate code representation. And after that, it is taken into the synthesis phase as an input and it is taking out the output as machine code, which is also called the low level language. And the source code which we are providing as an input to the analysis phase is also called high level language. So, what do you mean by high level language? What do you mean by low level language will all be covered in this playlist. Now, uh, let us understand for some reason what is high level language and low level language. Okay, for some reason we have to consider it. Okay, so first of all, we have to consider the high level language. So, high level language is nothing but the language we are using to communicate with each other or to machines. Suppose you are controlling your mobile phone. Your mobile phone cannot understand your language. Your mobile phone cannot understand your language. So, how do you make the mobile understand what you are wanting to do? What you are wanting to do? So, your mobile phone will understand the low level language that is machine code. So, high level language is your language that is English language and the low level language is machine code is uh, and nothing else. Now, high level language we know the grammar are there, grammars and rules are there. So, you will have to consider these all things in order to understand the high level language and communicate with high level language. If you want to speak in English, then you will have to understand the grammar. And if you want to talk with other person which is, uh, is speaking with you in English language, then you will have to understand the rules of grammar of English language. In the same way, if you want to communicate with machine, if you want to communicate with machine, wait one second. Yes, if you want to communicate with machine, then you will have to understand the machine level language. So, but machine level language consists of only two words that is 0 and 1. Now, you will say that 0 and 1, but it is a high level language as well. Yes, it is high level language. 0 and 1 is also the high level language. Now, why we are telling 0 and 1? Because 
to make our self understand that's why we are considering this 0 and 1 and nothing else even machine cannot understand this 0 and 1 as well but why we are telling that 0 and 1 is only being understand by machine level language no so why so you will have to understand this we are human beings we are human beings and we cannot understand machine level language. So machine level language does not understand 0 or 1. It understands only on and off. It understands only on and off. Now you will say that on and off is also written in English. So machine level language cannot understand the English level language that is a high level language. So how it is understanding the on and off. But still my brother or my sister I will tell you that on and off is just for our reference. But machine level language or machine code or machine does not understand this on and off as well. It understands only power supply means if you uh, supply a 5 voltage current to a machine then it will on. And if you remove the supply of uh, 5 voltage to that machine, then it will be off in that term. So to make ourselves understand, we are just considering on as a 1 and off as a 0. Means when 0 is being shown to you in compiler design, then you will have to understand that 0 means off and 1 means on. Now I will be representing one more thing to you that have you ever seen this symbol? This is the symbol of on and off. This is the symbol of on and off. Now you will be telling that how it is on and off. Yes, it is on and off. So I have already told you that for on we are considering one and for off we are considering zero. So look at this symbol. This symbol consists of two digits. Two digits. That is 1 and 0. Now you have understood why the power and on of symbol is represented in this way. Because this is 1 and this is 0 and nothing else. The combination of 1 and 0 becomes a symbol of on of symbol. That is this. Whenever we can watch the remote in on remote or in the laptop or PC or mobile phones wherever the on off symbol is only and only this and nothing else. So now you have understood the basic diagram of the compiler design. Okay. So let's move further to the next page of the notes. So here we have index part. Now this index I am just introducing to you for your knowledge purpose and nothing else. What we are going to discuss in our upcoming playlist. So in this playlist we are just introducing the in introduction to compiler as we have just introduced. And in the second playlist in the second video of the playlist there will be a language processing system. And in the third translation of an assignment statement. Now grammar then fourth is the grammar fifth one is ambiguity sixth one is parser syntax analyzer seventh one is types of parser eighth one is top down parser ninth one is bottom up parser tenth one is conversion of ambiguous grammar to unambiguous grammar yes eleventh one is left recursion twelfth one is conversion of left recursion to right recursion what is the importance of converting left recursion to right recursion? These all topics will be covered in the upcoming playlist video. Now the 13th one is left factoring. The 14th one is removing left factoring. In the 18th one, there is a LL1 parser. What is parser? What is the work and function of a parser? These all things will be discussed in the upcoming videos of the playlist. Now in the 19th one is first and follow. So you will be understanding the basic concepts of the compiler design and its contents. Now you will be telling that why these all things are blank. Now I will be telling you why these all things are blank. Because in the upcoming videos it will be filled up. So this is not the fixed notes that I am providing to you guys. 
यू विल हैव टू कंसिडर दिस ओके अपटिल नाउ Now here is the introduction to compiler. So as you can see that compiler, here is the definition. One more thing before introducing the compiler to you guys that you will have to maintain a proper notes. Although I have providing, I have provided it to you guys. Okay, but still you will have to maintain your proper notes. I am just wanting to give you one example that you have gone to a party. You have gone to a party and there you have gotten one dish which is your favorite. That is a khichdi. Suppose that is a khichdi and khichdi is favorite to you guys. Okay. Now, if someone will ask you to taste it, you have tasted and you have eaten the whole khichdi one plate. Okay. After having the khichdi, you are being asked to tell the ingredients of the khichdi. Will you able? Will you be able to tell that what are the ingredients of the khichdi to that guys? No. What? Why? You will not understand because you have not made the khichdi. You have not cooked the khichdi. So in order to make yourself understand what are the ingredients of the khichdi you will have to create your own pot in which you will be pouring the water it will you in which in which you will be pouring the water pouring the rice pouring the pulse then you will be heating it in the burner and then you will be preparing cooking your own khichdi then after if you will share it with others then you can understand and make understand others as well that what are the ingredients of that khichdi so in order to understand the proper compiler subject in order to understand it you will have to maintain your proper notes you will have to understand you will have to maintain you will have to create your own notes Although it is written here, you can copy it here. You can understand from here and write it on uh, at your own words. That is another matter. But you will have to create your own notes. This is the introduction part. I will not be telling these things another times. Okay. So let us start with the introduction to compiler. So as you can see that here it is introduction to compiler. Written that compiler is a translator that converts high level language to low level language what does it mean let us understand with the real life example you have gotten a trip to you have gotten a trip to mumbai no 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 you are the uh, you uh, you are living in mumbai okay and you have uh, gotten the trip from india to america okay you have gotten the chance to go to america and visit the america okay so after and suppose you will you are not understanding the english language okay and for best example let us understand the china you have gotten the you have gotten the chance to visit the china and you have visited china for one week but there is a huge condition that you will have to communicate with chinese people can you no because you don't understand the chinese language you don't understand the chinese language you don't understand so what you will do to make chinese people understand your language is to hire a guide is to hire a guide now what is guide a guide is nothing but a person who will be staying in between you and chinese people and telling the chinese people in chinese language after translating your language to into chinese language and vice versa also if chinese people will be telling something to you the guide will listening to these chinese people and will translating that uh, chinese language into english language and then will tell it to you now you will understand the chinese people as well in this way you can understand chinese language as well so what you will have to do is that to maintain the proper guide so in the same way 
now we when we want to communicate when we want to communicate with computers here is a computer and here is you can you communicate with computer can you tell computer to add subtract multiply some numbers suppose 2 plus 2 you want to tell com computer that you have to add 2 plus 2 can you tell computer no why because computer does not know the high level language that is your language and your language is english language it cannot understand you it will be confusing itself as well it will be telling what the human being want to tell me okay so in the same way you will have to maintain a translator in between you and the computer in the same way so let us make let us make one translator in between you and computer then you will be understanding the concept of compiler design okay why compiler design comes in existence okay then you will be understanding it so let us make a let us make a translator translator so t r dot okay so here is a translator now when you will be speaking something when you will be speaking something you will be just a putting your language into translator translator will understand your high level language hll high level language and will convert it into the machine level language mll to make computer understand to make the computer understand then computer will understand that you want to add two numbers 2 plus 2 so in that way you will be telling your computer to add something okay so what is the total thing that you want to need is the translator so that's why here it is written that compiler is a translator that converts high level language to low level language now you have understood why there is a need of converting the high level language to low level language okay so here are some few examples of high level language that is c c++ c c++ java python these all things you know and you are very familiar with this name okay but i don't know whether you understand c c++ java or python or not but still i am giving this example okay if you want to learn then you can learn okay it is free of cost and it is a free resource of programming language to understand these things and you can improve your skills as well now let us move to the second example low level language lll or machine level language mll so for that example i have taken here assembly level language and machine code so machine code what is machine code you know the high level language is nothing but the english type language is english type language if you english type language if you write in english then it is nothing but high level language but what is machine level language if you write in zero or one means binary language zero or one binary means two our uh, uh, a language consisting consisting of two digits by means two and binary means two digits so here is nothing but only two digits zero and one so computer will be understanding zero and one now you will be uh, understanding the concept of compiler design in this way and nothing else okay so let us move to the next part compiler decodes any error or warning present in the source code compiler decodes any error or warning present in the source code now you will tell that why why it will decode my error or warning why it will represent a error or warning so you will again have to take the same example of translator in between the compiler in between the computer and you guys suppose you have visited china okay suppose you have visited china one second suppose you have visited china and here is a compiler or translator you can say okay and you are wanting to tell the com the translator into english language and the translator knows both language english language as well as chinese language okay 
now you want to tell to computer or you uh, sorry the translator you want to tell the translator in english language and you are telling to it to translator and translator will convert it into the machine code but here is a one problem that if you can't understand english language how will you how will you convey the language to the translator no you cannot suppose you know the english language but you cannot speak properly you are just telling suppose you want to tell the message that i want to go there and you are telling i want to go there instead of this you are telling i is wanting go there is it proper language no so the translator will tell you that it is wrong it is wrong grammatical mistakes are there so you will have to properly maintain the english grammar rules then then only you can speak into the translator and the translator will convert it into the corresponding machine code i hope you have understood in the same way in the same way when compiler decodes it finds errors and warnings if you have written improper machine code improper high level language so you will have to convert it into the machine level language okay so these points you have understood now types of compiler so there are only two types of compiler single pass compiler and multi pass compiler so let us define the single pass compiler single pass compiler is a type of compiler that processes the source code only once as it is cleared from the name single pass compiler means it will pass the source code that is high level language only once that then only it is called the single pass compiler and for multi pass compiler multi pass compiler is a type of compiler that processes the source code multiple times so by name it is suggesting that a compiler that passes the source code multiple times is known as multi pass compiler so hope you have understood these two types of compiler let us move to the next part so whatever you have understood regarding the compiler design i have just given one diagram here to make you understand here is nothing but a source file you are just programming into your computer okay suppose you have written high dot c means c language you have used okay and here is nothing but a simple program to represent your code here is that void main printf high so the compiler will just compile it into that compiler will just compile it into the machine code that is the executable code here it is executable code is nothing but the code which can be executed in multiple operating systems suppose you have coded you have coded your program into linux and you want to run it into the windows then you can you can just uh, share the .exe file and you can run it into the windows okay so here is nothing but a compiler in between your high level source high level language source to machine level language source so now you have understood in grammatical manner so there are two major phases of compiler there are two major phases of compiler i have already told you in the beginning of this tutorial that analysis phase and synthesis phase so let us understand the definition of this what i have written is that analysis phase breaks the code into small different phases and creates an intermediate presentation of the source code so analysis phase is nothing but the phase which breaks this code which breaks this code which, which you have written in english language that is c level language so it will just break the code void main curly braces and then printf then high so it will uh, breaks the code into small different phases and creates an intermediate representation of source code that is also known as icg 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 means uh, intermediate code generator 
वट एवर इट इज द फेज ऑफ अ कंपाइलर दैट जनरेट्स द इंटरमीडिएट कोड यू विल बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस दिस टर्म्स इन द अपकमिंग वीडियोज बट स्टिल फॉर द टाइम बिंग नाउ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट एनालिसिस फेज ब्रेक्स द कोड इन टू स्मॉल डिफरेंट फेजेज एंड क्रिएट्स एन इंटरमीडिएट रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ सोर्स कोड दैट इज नथिंग एंड दैट इज मोर देन इनफ ओके नाउ let us move to the synthesis phase synthesis phase uses the icg and optimizes it before converting it to target code that is the assembly level language or assembly level language or instead of that you can tell the machine level language so both are the low level language examples i as i have shown it to you okay so thank you guys and uh, i hope you have understood why uh, there is a need of a compiler in between uh, human being and computer what is the main purpose of the compiler why it is developed and what are the different phases of compiler okay analysis phase and synthesis phase now you have understood what is the machine code what is the source code what is the high level language okay now you also have understood you have also understood then uh, the types of compiler single pass compiler multi pass compiler so i hope you have understood if you have understood something and if you have learned something from this tutorial please like the video and share it to your uh, friends who are in need of these types of tutorial thank you guys